Hi everyone, Jamie Chapman here. I get a lot of interest in how I create my videos, um, particularly like the live stream ones that you can see behind me here. Um, this is a live stream that I did on Twitch last year. Uh, how I actually create these videos uh, and um, some of the other videos that I've been creating uh, for um, my uh, units recently, of course, as we shift into the online learning. Uh, academics are really interested in how to create nice quality, high quality uh, video resources. So what I thought I'd do is a sort of explain how I actually go about creating these live streaming videos or just uh, video captures uh, using this free software called uh, OBS Studio. Um, so hopefully you find this video useful. Um, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so first things first, we need to actually get OBS. So if you just go to Google, you type in OBS, and there is OBS Studio, that's what we're looking for. Uh, so OBS stands for Open Broadcaster Software. Uh, so if we click on that, then you can see here we are, obsproject.com. Uh, and then you've got your options for downloading. So if you have a Windows machine, you can download that Mac OS 10.3. 13. Uh, so depending on, of course, your computer that you're going to use, uh, you then click on what you want. Uh, you can see that the downloader uh, is opened and then you just click save to wherever you like it. You run that program and you install um, the OBS. So once you've uh, downloaded and installed it, um, then you can open it up. Uh, so here I've got it uh, attached to my taskbar. So I just click on that and up will come OBS. Um, so you can see we've got this main window. This is what's going to be recorded. And then down here, we've got all these different components. So over here on the right hand side, uh, we've got our controls. Uh, I'm remembering that this is actually a streaming software. So um, we're actually adapting it rather than doing live streaming, which of course you can possibly do if, if that's what you're interested in doing. Um, I can do another video on how to set that up at another time if you're interested. Uh, but here we're interested in recording. So that's, of course, where we find our start recording button. Um, settings is another important issue, which we'll talk about in a little while. But basically, first of all, everything's sort of set up as scenes. Um, and so each scene um, has different sources uh, within it. So whether you want to capture your screen or whether you want to capture a webcam, for example, or you want to uh, have an image or, or something like that, various overlays in, um, you can configure it however you want and you can set as many scenes as you like and you can switch between them while you're actually doing your recording. So this scene at the moment isn't named, um, so we just call it scene, and each scene needs to have a source. So let's say we want to actually uh, add our webcam. So down here you see the little plus sign, so you click on that, and then you've got all these various options available to you to be able to introduce uh, something to your scene. So you can introduce your audio capture, uh, so input, output, uh, you can have a web browser, um, you can have your display capture, that might be something we're interested in, we'll probably add that in a second. Uh, you can add an image, for example, uh, and here, when you want to add a webcam, this is it here, the video capture device. So you click on that, um, let's um, call it uh, webcam. So let's say you've got a webcam directly attached to your computer. In my case, I'm actually using a... Um, uh, an external camera which is attached to the computer but you know whatever um, situation you have uh, you click OK and then up comes your options to actually choose uh, what you're going to use so here um, it's captured um, my uh, game capture card because I've actually got it uh, directly attached to my game capture card and you can see behind me I've actually got a, a green screen of course not everyone's going to have a green screen but you know if you want to use a green screen that's absolutely fine as well um, you can configure the video uh, and so on. I don't I tend not to play around with, with these features too much. Uh, you click OK. Um, at the moment, you can see it's actually recording the audio there. Now, um, I can actually then um, configure so I can get rid of the green screen if I want to. So what I can do is I can right click on that and then I can click filters. Uh, and so here I can add uh, an effect filter so I click plus here, and it's actually uh, referred to as a chroma key. Uh, so we just keep that there. And then here you can see I've actually kept, 
uh, selected green so if you had a blue screen uh, or you had a magenta screen or you can actually even have a custom screen so whatever color you might have behind you you can actually select that color and then uh, remove it from your effect so green screen basically becomes any color screen that you have behind you but of course at the moment I'm just using green screen it's already configured for that um, you can see um, that the, my background has now disappeared and that actually then um, uh, so that's that's good so that's all set up and now we've got nothing behind me so that when I come to uh, insert myself uh, into the scene I can actually either keep myself uh, full screen here or for example if I wanted to add myself to um, a screen capture uh, like I'm doing a PowerPoint presentation and I wanted to add myself in the corner you can hopefully see these little red squares you can actually adjust the size of uh, that capture you can move yourself around uh, within that scene so that you're in the corner there um, and the students or whoever that you're recording your audience can actually still see you um, and um, that way you know you've got that aspect uh, added to your video there so let's say now that I wanted to add an image. Of course, um, a lot of us work for uh, various institutions, and they'd probably like if we kept a um, uh, kept a, a logo somewhere so that we knew where uh, that was coming from. When you select that image, uh, I've named it here as logo. And then you get to browse where you find that. Um, on my desktop here, uh, in the icons, I have a little. Uh, Utah's one Oof, you can see it's quite a large one you click OK again you can resize this image you move it around and put it where you want it and the whatever size you like as well um, so you can for example uh, place it in the corner uh, wherever you like and of course you know you can you have various options I think if you click alt um, here you can actually crop so if you hold down alt while you move these you can actually crop that down um, and then you can move that to a corner so that you've got your icon there for whenever you make your your video you've got your university happy <laughs> in this case uh, or whatever institution you're working for you can have that now let's say we want to uh, do a um, a screen capture uh, now this is going to be a little bit odd because um, of course I'm capturing this screen here so uh, let's do a display capture so we'll click OK there and of course because I'm capturing the screen that I'm recording on we've got this very uh, strange appearance here okay so but beside the um, very weird effect that's going on right now the other thing is of course uh, the way we've got it configured is that um, the display capture is on top Whereas, of course, we want the webcam and the logo on top of the display capture. So we actually need to move these up. So now you can see that my webcam is configured there. Let's move my uh, logo up in the point there so that now uh, when we actually record this video, whatever's on the screen is going to be captured. Our video webcam is actually going to be captured in the corner and our logo is still present there. So it's really important when you do that that you have the right sequence so that um, you've got the webcam, the logo, and various other things that you need on there overlying the display capture. Otherwise, um, the display capture actually becomes... Uh, what's uh, recorded first um, so uh, if you ever want to hide any of these uh, you can actually uh, change them here by just clicking the uh, eye icon and you can have them present or absent depending on uh, what you want to do so you can actually do that while you're recording uh, alternatively you can set up a, a extra scenes so for example if we wanted to add a scene which is just your face talking uh, so you can set up a scene we'll call this here let's just call this webcam uh, actually we'll call this webcam too because we've already named something webcam so here again we add our source this time when we go to video capture device we'll see we can add an existing one which is our webcam we click OK and there's our webcam and that's it so now when you're doing um, your recording you can have this set up um, when you want to make an emphasis or you want to focus on things you can then switch to the uh, webcam go back to your scene and you can alternate between these various um, uh, scenes uh, while you're doing the recording and it's really a nice uh, way to display your video now uh, let's say we want to um, start recording uh, so we can do that um, 
here so we can actually uh, let's go to settings first so I show you how to use settings um, so you can see here uh, we've got all of these different things general settings we've got stream settings we won't need to worry about that for our recording output we will need to worry about because that's um, where we configure uh, the type of video file that we're producing the audio the video and so on uh, so here this is all just really I don't play around with this very much um, you don't really need to play around with with any of these uh, settings here uh, at the moment uh, so when we go to output uh, this is the streaming information we don't need to worry about that but the recording information of course you get to set the recording path uh, so of course you find the folder that you want to save your your file to uh, the recording quality here this again is um, set to same as stream so if you're streaming then you can record at the same time uh, and then you've got recording format so you have a number of options uh, I think it, it um, automatically defaults to FLV which is not a very usable file output uh, of course mp4 is a very common type of output mov files as well um, i use mkv files now there's a reason that i use mkv files and that's because if i do do um, screen recordings um, while I'm live streaming um, it says uh, what happens with the MKV files is, is the fail uh, if the stream fails then uh, that recording is actually lost in an MOV or an MP4 file but in an MKV file that file is actually saved and then I can actually configure it later um, so the uh, OBS system actually has its own internal uh, way to actually reconfigure the MKV files into uh, MP4 files. Now it's a little bit of an extra step to actually have to go through rather than producing MP4 files, but it's a sort of a safety backup that I use um, in, in creating these videos. So I save as MKV. Um, and pretty much uh, that's it you can go and have a look at the recording you've got a number of uh, ways to uh, affect the the audio I don't I tend not to play around with these you can change all the the resolution and so on um, and that's pretty much as much as I play around with so when it comes time to, to start recording all you need to do is hit record start recording you can see the little dot down here and it says that it started to record we're recording for five seconds so far and so at the moment all that's recording is my little head in the corner this black screen and my my icon at the top there and again as I say you can switch between the scenes uh, as you go along um, you can put more emphasis on things if you want people to uh, you want uh, people to pay attention you've got a really important point to point out uh, alternatively you go to scenes and in this background of course you can have anything configured here as I say you could have a, um, a PowerPoint presentation you could have um, your uh, browser with whatever you're showing you can have an image um, you can have a live video you can have input set up to actually have your live video recorded um, and then when you're done all you just need to do is hit stop recording you can then uh, so as we know we've just um, created a uh, MKV uh, file. Now this is not a file type which is readily accessible by a number of um, video editing softwares. So what you can do is, I'm um, going to minimize this for a second, um, find my file. Uh, so uh, here I've got a number of these files. So um, here's my uh, let's say this is my screen recording from today uh, 51 seconds so what I'm going to do is go up here and go to file remux recordings so when uh, you click on that uh, you get to uh, drop files into this re region here so I'm going to find that file I just made I'm going to drop it in I'll get rid of this now um, so this is our file MKV we're going to convert it into an mp4 and all we do is just hit remux and that was how fast it was it's now converted if we go back to our, um, our folder we'll now see that there's a copy there's the MKV file here's the mp4 file so now we've got an mp4 version um, this was a backup just in case something went wrong during the the streaming uh, and so now we actually have the mp4 you can drag that into any photo uh, sorry video editing software and um, adapt it however you like get rid of any errors and, and mistakes you can add you know whatever effects you want to add and pretty much that's it you can upload it to whatever um, 
a repository you have which you can then allow people to upload it to YouTube, you upload it to Echo360, uh, however your uh, institution hosts uh, your videos, then you can just upload it to there. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Um, I, I find it's amazing. It's free, uh, it doesn't cost anything, um, and it's an extremely useful tool to creating very interactive, um, engaging videos. And um, as academics, of course, we're looking for uh, anything that's helpful like that. And of course, that um, price tag is really great. Um, so anyway, as I say, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, you found that useful. Again, please, any questions, please hit me up in the um, uh, discussion below uh, or make a comment below. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Hooroo!